everyone, can you please close your eyes for a minute and imagine yourself on a tennis court. You properly serve the ball up into the air and you get it over the net. Suddenly, you see the ball come back towards you. What do you do? Yes, no, yes. Now today, I'm going to show you the two main steps to swing at a tennis ball. These are the essential steps that you need in order to win a match. I have been a part of the varsity team for Elma Tennis for over three years and currently the co-captain for this current season. And now I'm going to show you exactly what the difference is between the two. First off, for either stance, you have to stand straight with your hips looking towards the court. Second, you're going to want to make sure your weight is on your toes so that you're not surprised from when the ball comes straight towards you. Third, you're going to want to hold the racket the proper way. You take the V of your hand and place it up against the small edge of the racket, just like this. And now you place your other non-dominant hand over top. So you're ready in a stance like this. Next, you're going to want to do two things at the same time. First, you're going to want to move your racket over to the side like this with an angle. You want to make sure there's an angle because if it's awkwardly like this, there's no way you're going to have the strength to hit it in time. At the same time, you want to take your non-dominant hand and place it towards the ball and step at, with your non-dominant foot. So all at the same time, you step, look, and have an angle. Your next step is to properly make the circle. The circle allows you to build up the strength that you need in order to properly hit the ball. So you go back through your step like this and you circle slowly until you get to about here. You still have your hand out, but you want your racket to be straight with your hips. This is where you hit the ball. When you hit the ball, you're going to hit it exactly here and then follow through. It's, it's key to follow through, otherwise you will not have the strength to hit the ball back over the net. It'll just flop its way and hit the net before it even gets over. The second swing is the backhand. Now the backhand is preferred by most professional tennis players because 90% of the time you can use both hands. And both hands allows you to have more accuracy when you hit it to exactly where you want on the other side of the court. To start this, you have the same stance. You have your weight on your toes and you're looking straight towards the ball. First, you can either use the same method as before and do a circle, or you can go straight through. Straight through is a lot easier, personally, because all you have to do is bend back like this and swing through. This allows you to just do one single motion in order to get it across the net. The harder one is to do the one before with your angle like this and circling through. Both of these strokes are um, definitely going to get you to win a match. They're different because of the dominant or non-dominant side that you hit. For the forehand, you want to make, it's called the forehand because the front part of your hand can hit the ball like this. And the backhand, it hits the ball on the back side of your hand. So, today, I showed you the two main swings, the forehand and the backhand. So now, Imagine yourself back on the tennis court, seeing the ball coming back over the net. Your next step is to properly hit the ball with the tremendous forehand or backhand that I just talked about. 